down the road here. side another one with a smashed front end all right guys so here's what we're doing you can't move that top vehicle in the middle so we're going to drive that one right off onto that truck as soon as he gets backed up here i've lowered my airbags all the way down and i've run this deck out as far as it'll go so <laughs> If I, my measurements are correct, I'm only about four inches higher than his deck. So that shouldn't be an issue at all. And we're about to find out. Man, that's even better than I thought it was gonna be. As long as your deck doesn't drop real bad. We'll get it off one way or the other. All right, guys, here goes nothing. This is actually a first for me. I've used rollbacks before to offload and unload vehicles, but I've never jackknifed my truck and had a rollback back up to the front end of my trailer and driven a running vehicle off onto it. In this case, as you guys saw, we couldn't offload because we had that other unit on behind us that is a, it's a really smashed up in off. So this was a first for me being able to do it this way, and it worked really, really well. Good. There we go. Transition completed as far as the front tires go. This is a fairly slow process right here because when I drove down off of my trailer that already had the weight of the vehicle on it, I was concerned about the back end of his rollback bed dropping significantly, uh, as was the rollback operator. If it had done that, it could have smashed up the, uh, the little plastic rubber-like mud guards hanging down behind the front wheels in that Sprinter van but it barely moved at all uh, as I drove down onto it. Probably not more than, I don't know, maybe a three inch or so drop. Um, so this process actually worked exceptionally well and I was able to get my front deck, once it was extended out, a whole lot lower to the ground than I thought I was going to be able to. So very pleased with how this worked out. I can't see the front bumper. How close am I? My lights are about six inches. If you can pull forward, we'll just drop those back tires down onto your deck. I got it. Well, just go just really, really slow. We'll, we'll watch it and see. I don't have, I mean, I don't, I can't separate the brakes and the e-brakes are to the back. You know, maybe two or three inches I can pull forward if I need to. Cause we're already over your decks. So we just need to get it off of mine. You want to back up some? Yeah. 
All right, if you'll pull forward maybe two or three inches at a time. Yeah, my, you're pulling out from under me, so if you'll go another maybe six inches, we'll have it. I saw these wheels turn. Yeah, I've got it locked down on those. That way you can spot me when I pull forward again because I don't want to hit your light bar. But I can cross six inch gap there easily. I've already crossed the 14 inch between decks up there with the back tires. If you'll pull forward about six inches, I can come across a six inch gap between our between our decks easily with the back tires. That way you can spot me when I pull forward so I don't hit your light bar. And that should be enough to get me completely off my trailer. That's good. <clears throat> Tell me when to stop. Okay, now you're on my deck right there. Okay. You want to just pull straight forward and I'll back off right where we're sitting now? Hang on for the ride, folks. This is so much more fun than everyday car hauling. That van is definitely bigger than the tow truck. Get away from me, Satan. I'm allergic to bees, y'all. That's what's happening. Get away from me! <laughs> We should be good. Let me just get a one picture of it because sure, yeah. This is the first for me. Okay. Rolled the window up. The bee's gone. We did it. Yay!